Hello, Sagittarius. This is a general reading, general collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius highly aspected in your chart, um, typically sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, I have several Sagittarius placements in my chart, um, but not in the front three, in the top three. So, But I still consider it highly aspected in my chart. So... Anyway, um, sometimes Sagittarius readings resonate for me. Um, I hope this resonates for you. If you clicked on this reading and you're not a Sagittarius, there still might be something in it for you. It's not going to be a long reading. It might be a ton of stuff, but this is about the full moon that we currently have coming up here. Um, we're in the energies of it at the moment. Um, as I'm filming this, today is... Thursday, uh, 27th, no, 26th, 26th, yeah, yeah, the blood moon, um, partial eclipse, lunar eclipse will be on, uh, Saturday, the 28th, anyway, um, I could have the dates wrong if I do, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's get cracking, I've cleared the energies, um, I've meditated on the cards. My guides suggested Sagittarius was next, so I'm doing Sagittarius now. Um, I'm trying to get a few readings done today. Got a fire burning behind me. It's cold here in Colorado today. It's really turned into fall. And uh, we're going to get snow later this weekend. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Feeling this. Feeling the change of seasons. Yeah. All right. Archer. Sagis. My daughter's a Sagittarius. So are really good friends of mine are Sagittarius. This is my ex-wife's a Sagittarius. Uh, in uh, Western, I'm an Aries. Aries, Sun, Leo, Moon. I resonate with the uh, fire sign, for sure. Spirit guides, ancestors, please be with me. Please guide me through this message for Sagittarius. Looking for some energies for the weekend for them, for this full moon in Aries, followed by the transitions into a Taurus. Um, by the end of the, the night, the day tomorrow, Friday. Um, so we're going from the full moon, reflecting that energy of self, and your self-determination, your um, uh, your will, your fire to uh, move things forward for yourself, for your life. You are the master of your life. Um, if you're not the main character in your life's story, then you then you're letting somebody else write the story for you. You need to be the author of your own life, of your own story. I shouldn't have to tell a uh, Sagittarius that. But we all get woundings. We all do. So. Claim your power. Claim your story. Wow. Don't know who needed to hear that, but <laughs> that was sidetracked. Anyway, so Aries is about the self. It's about action-oriented and... I already have a couple of cards popping out here um, for the energies you may be encountering this weekend during this full moon. I have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And uh, it's a slow-moving knight. Steady, reliable, consistent. Did I mention slow-moving? Um, Earth sign could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo. Uh, very slow move. Um, you don't need to hear, hear that again. Um, anyway, you could have one of these earth signs coming towards you because what came out with that was the Two of Cups. This is what most people think the lover's card is. This is that... Uh, 
Ah, two beings coming together, sharing the greatest energy possible, the energy of love. Um, it doesn't always have to be romantic. It can be you're working on a project with someone that you care very, you know, that you, you vibe so well together. And you just you get each other. And you're just in this thing. And you're doing this thing, uh, whatever this thing is. Um, I don't know what the thing is. Um, whatever that is, you know, you're creating art. You're building a wall in your backyard. I don't know what you're doing. Um, but you're coming together with another or maybe it's with yourself. But typically the Two of Cups is about two people, two hearts, spaces coming together and working together. Um, yeah, if it's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, I hope they show up. Usually they're very punctual people, which is funny that we say it's the slowest moving. Um, most earth signs that I know are, dang, are they punctual. I, I'm not, I'm almost always late. No, um, anyway, what other energies um, can the Sagittarius Collective expect during this full moon, blood moon, uh, heading into Halloween time uh, weekend? What do we got? What do we got? Isis, please communicate with me, dear sweet one. Yes, you'll hear me say the name of the goddess a lot. I I call upon Isis daily. That's, yeah. Goddess of uh, magic. The netter, not goddess, netter. Natural energy, nature energy of motherhood, of magic, of healing, of alchemy. Alchemy. The Egyptian thing. And there's someone who knows a bit about alchemy. The magician. Oh. Uh, dashing and good looking guy in my opinion. I wonder why I would think that. Looks like a good friend of mine. Really good friend of mine. So you are creating your reality. That's good. You're creating it. These energies are available to you this weekend. Not always, but specifically this weekend, they're going to be palpable. Um, yeah, I love the Magician card. It's fantastic. All of the elemental energies are available to the Magician to be used to draw in the world that the Magician desires. Mm, yeah, that's you, Sag. Do you have any advice? Spirit, do you have any advice for this wonderful collective? Fiery, fiery folk. For my hunters, for my archers, what do we have? The Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. As an advice card. Like some call her the Pre-Empress card. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy of wealth, of opulence, of you got it. You got the stuff. You don't need other stuff. You're good. I mean, you can get more stuff. You want more stuff. Why not? But... You've got it. You're you're good. Nine, someone nine of pentacles. They are self sufficient. Own that in your heart. Know that you have enough. Know that you're self sufficient. Know it. Know it as a knowing in your mind, and it's all gonna work out beautifully. Whatever you're trying to call in, if this is a new love that you're calling in, it's gonna work out. You're the magician. You've got it all. You've got this. Um, I'm going to go to Power of Love activation deck for what love energy would best serve you to call in for this time um, to help you with this. Past. 
Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energies in order to transform your heart space. Wow. That one jumped right out. Is that going to focus in on this? No, oh, focus. No, oh, focus. Not wanting to focus. And never mind. Okay, so there it is. It's passed. And it's saying to let go of any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space, to be open to new love, to be open to love. That's what I got for you, Saggies. And I hope this helps. And I hope that it uh, sends you on the right way. Um, yeah, much love for you. Ah, peace.